Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, just do a quick video response to the whole length issue of the HR shotgun. Um, as I posted a little farther down the way that the length, the barrel length of the shotgun, and I cited the Indiana state law, the barrel length as long as it's over 18 inches, it doesn't matter if you cut it off yourself or if you have a gunsmith do it. However, what matters is the crowning of the barrel. When you start sawing off a shotgun, you'll get the burrs that are inside and that'll definitely uh, mess up your patterning and can make it a dangerous uh, way to shoot. So you have to make sure that that barrel is crowned properly and you probably should have a, a gunsmith do it, but you know a good metal file and some time, um, followed by a sharpening steel to get the small burrs off of there is also a good idea. What really impresses me about the shotgun setup is how quickly you can interchange the barrels. If you're shooting 20 gauge, for example, and you're out in the woods, um, it's just a really great gun to shoot. You can load them the same way. Um, black powder will work the same way in those as it does in the 12 gauge. The 20 gauge is typically .62 caliber ball if you want to shoot ball out of that. Um, it's not going to go real far with this 22 inch barrel, but uh, you know, 50 yards. If you can, can't sneak up on a deer in 50 yards, you probably should be just using a bow anyway. It'll go a little farther. If you don't want to shoot the 20, interchange it. For the 12, just that quick. You don't have to buy separate stocks for it. You can carry the barrel separately. These are not necessarily interchangeable. There are differences in them. This one will not fit the 12 because of the scoop. So you have to make sure that you don't get those mixed up with your barrels. Just keep them on the, on the same barrels that you that they came with. Eighteen and a half. Twenty-two and an eighth. One receiver in stock for both barrels. Cheap, easy, fun way to shoot. Um, my whole black powder kit is at the bench. But um, yeah, good way to go. 12 gauge, 20 gauge. Have to do some research, but I'd love to find a 410 for this as well. Don't know if they made it or not. So that's something I'm going to be looking into. Anyway, there's my video response for it. Hope you like it. Take care.